welcome to getting started. As you know, we've updated all of your business tools, including the back office. But don't worry, we are here to help you navigate all these functions to help you get you familiarized. So in today's episode, we are going to cover an overview of the back office, including how to place an order. So it's very important that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Official Gano Excel USA, to stay tuned for our upcoming episodes. Before we begin, you will need the following tools provided by Gano Excel to familiarize yourself with the terms we will be using during the training of your back office so that you have a better understanding of what we will review. Number one, wealth plan to refer to rank qualifications and potential, page 12. Very important glossary of terms on the back of your wealth plan. Number two, monthly commission program calendar, so you have a better understanding of the cycles. Number three, pen and paper for note taking. Now let's launch our web browsers to open your back office by entering us.ganoexcel.com. This will bring you to the login page where you'll need to enter your affiliate distributor number assigned during your enrollment along with your password. Once logged on, you will see the homepage of your back office. Today, we'll cover an overview of all the functions in your back office and learn how to place an order. We won't go in detail in each tab since this is an overview. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Official Gano Excel USA, to stay updated for our upcoming episodes where we'll learn more in depth together. So follow my cursor to the top right portion of the page. Here you'll find your name, the flag icon, which indicates that this is a U.S. Ghana Excel account. The envelope icon will alert you of any notifications related to your account. So it's important that you regularly check it by clicking into it. By clicking the cube symbol, you are able to change the language. Click on the drop down and you can select English or Spanish. Today we are selecting English. Now let's explore the tabs shown on the left side of your homepage. When clicking the order tab, you'll be able to start ordering and review your order history. Now remember, we'll be placing an order after covering the overview of your back office. Now click on the next tab, Auto Ship, where you are able to set up your Auto Ship profile or modify your existing one by going to View Profile. Now follow me to the next tab, the Downline tab. We will bring, it'll bring you to two options, the Downline tree and your Enrollment Placement Configuration setting. By clicking View Downline, you can view and navigate your binary organization, as well as directly enroll affiliates in specific positions. By clicking Config Placement, you'll be able to edit enrollment placement options that best suit your business goals and strategies. Next, we have the Enroll tab. By clicking Start Enroll, you'll be prompted to start enrollments based on your enrollment placement configuration setting, just as I mentioned in the previous tab. In other words, your enrollments will be automatically positioned based on that setting. Remember, you can also go to the downline tab to enroll your team in specific positions in your downline tree. Now, moving over to the commissions tab, when clicking the tab, you will see three reports. Your commissions report, which shows your earnings history. Qualification report provides you with itemized information of your qualifications. And binary volume bank register report, which allows you to see the volume generated on both your left and right side, including more details. Remember, you'll learn more in depth on each function in our upcoming tutorials. Now onto the report tab. By clicking, you'll find your current qualified report and team management to further support you in your organization. Now the next tab under the Me tab, 
you'll find your basic account information, how to change your password, to manage your preferred program, which are your retail customers, view your reward points earned from your auto ship, my websites to build and manage your personal websites free of charge, and lastly, agreement form to access authorization forms. Next, under the corporate tab, you'll find contact information about the company, such as their corporate number, customer service numbers, and all this in general information, which will get you to any department that you wish to contact. Now, if you scroll down, you'll find necessary information about your business, such as policies and procedures, common questions, FAQ, our applications and forms, electronic business kit. Now that covers that tab. The last tab logs you out of your back office. So we're not ready to do that just yet, okay? Now by going back up to the logo on the left side and clicking, you'll be redirected to your home page. Now as you can see in the center of the page, we have the Gano News where you can stay informed of all of our great events and excellent promotions. You can use the left and right arrows to view the next slide. Please take the opportunity to review the Gano News as it will keep you up to date with everything we are up to. Now, as you look over to the right side of the page, the qualification summary does just that. It provides a summary of your binary organization the left and right side. Now this section states how many affiliates in total are in your organization from those you personally enroll and those enrolled by them. You can also see how many of your personal enrollees are currently active during this cycle. This is your group commissionable volume generated this cycle determined by the affiliates in your binary organization and your enrollment organization. Now your binary organization refers to your entire organization and your enrollment organization personally enrolled by you. This GCV, group commissionable volume, states the volume generated in the previous cycle. Underneath shows the dates, including the number of the cycle. Now let's scroll down to Rank Advancement. For this, you will need your wealth plan to refer to page 12, titled Rank Qualifications and Potential. The green bar shows how close you are to completing each of those requirements to reach your paid rank for this current cycle. To the right is a pay scale showing this cycle's GCV, group commissionable volume, and your best cycle historically. Moving over to the bottom left, this icon gives the total persons personally enrolled by you during the cycle. Next, you'll see the total number of those who are in your binary organization. The calendar icon gives you the days you've been in business with Gano Excel. Now moving down to Team News, it will show your top five affiliates today within your enrollment organization and on the right side, corporate announcements to keep you well informed. And that brings us to the end of your back office homepage. Now time to place an order. Follow me over to the order tab. Click and let's start ordering. You are now in the main page. This is the category filter. Use this to filter through your desired group of products. You are also able to select these numbers on the right side to navigate through our product pages instead of using the filter. All gives you all the products as you can see. Going back to the filter, health beverages take you to all of our enriched beverages. General pay for signature required for shipping and our GE logo coffee mugs. Going back to the filter, sales aids takes you to all marketing business tools created with your success in mind. Under success packs, 
you'll find our Executive Success Packages, also known as ESPs. Going back to the filter, under Supplements, you'll find all of our Gonoderma Lucidum capsules. Last option in the filter takes you to Personal Care, where you'll find our Gono Daily Use products. Now that we know what products are available and where to find them, let's place an order. Follow me back up to the filter on the top left where I'll be placing an order for three, three and one. Click on the down arrow, select health beverages, click on the Gano Cafe item, three and one. Once you click, you'll be greeted by a pop-up. The information in front of you is the item code, name of product, wholesale price, which you pay for being an affiliate, and the retail price. By clicking inside this bar, you can either enter the quantity of items or select the up and down arrow. Once you've entered the quantity, you click buy, and your items will be added to cart. Click OK and go to the shopping cart icon on the top right corner. Once you've finished selecting your items, of course. Ne the next pop-up will bring up your shopping list and summary, which is an opportunity to review your order. The information provided is the item code, name of product, quantity, what point value of PV or CV it has per item, your wholesale affiliate price, and total. You can edit here if you'd like to change the quantity or this trash icon to delete the item completely. Underneath, you'll see the summary, total of your personal volume and commissionable volume so that you make sure you maintain active so that you're eligible for most bonuses and also retain any banked binary team group commissionable volume if you are doing the business. Of course, as well as the subtotal now, we proceed to check out by clicking. This section brings you to the final steps of finalizing your order. This is a test account, so I'll only be able to go over the configurations without actually completing an order. Now, follow my cursor on the top left corner. The highlighted number is your order number. This is the number you'll need to provide customer service with in order to obtain your order status. Moving over to your shopping cart, you'll see a recap of your order details. Starting from the left, you have the item number, description, quantity, personal volume slash commissionable volume, your affiliate price, and the total before the tax. Next, we have order configuration, which includes your shipping information, your billing, and payment information. Start by clicking shipping. It'll bring you to three options. Use my account shipping address, enter another shipping address, use will call pickup address. Now by selecting use my account shipping address, the system will populate your shipping address on file. As you can see on the right side under ship to. Right underneath, you then need to select ship by for your shipping method under the dropdown. As you can see, you have multiple options. FedEx Ground is the most common option as it takes five to seven business days and provides you a tracking number once your order has been shipped. By selecting the second option under shipping, you can do just that, enter another shipping address. Enter the postal code, select the city. Once selected, then click on the city. You will then be prompted to enter your address in the address field. Once completed, you'll be asked to validate through the U.S. Postal Service. Click on Use Validated Address. You'll then have the option to save this address as your default shipping address. Now note, if you click Yes, this will become your new default address. By clicking No, this address will be a one-time use. In this scenario, we'll click No to keep our current account shipping address. Scroll up to confirm your address under Ship To. Once confirmed, you then need to select your shipping method under Ship By, as previously mentioned. Going back to the third and last option under Shipping, click on Use Will Call Pickup Address 
and select from the dropdown. When selecting from any of our Opportunity Centers, you'll be able to pick up your order at no cost. The address of the center you select will populate on the right side under Ship To. Once you've selected your shipping option and you've confirmed your shipping method, the next step is your billing address. Now follow my cursor back to billing. When clicking on the gray bar, you'll see two options. Use my account billing address and enter another billing address. By selecting use my account billing address, it'll populate the address you've provided on the right side under bill to. Note, it's important to remember that your address must match what's on record with your bank. Now going back to billing for the next option, click enter another billing address and you'll be prompted to enter your address information in the address field. Once you've entered and confirmed your address, click confirm. The final step is payment. Click on the gray bar for payment where you'll then need to enter your credit card information. Going back up to the right side, you'll be able to review your order summary and submit to finalize your order. We don't see it now, of course, since this is a test account, but yours will populate accordingly. Now that brings us to the end of today's episode. You are now ready to place your order through your back office. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for our upcoming episode on how to set up and modify your auto ship, as well as enrolling under the enroll tab.